Hello friends, welcome back to Multi Question World. Today we are going to discuss laboratory normal values. A laboratory personnel should be aware of common laboratory tests and their normal values. So here we are discussing the normal values of common laboratory test. If you are watching without subscribing, please do subscribe the channel and you can watch the previous videos from playlist. Turn on bell button to get the notifications on time. Let us start. Here we are discussing normal values of liver function test, renal function test, electrolytes, lipid profile, blood glucose estimation, complete blood count, blood pH, coagulation studies, thyroid function test and some minerals. So we are starting with liver function test. We all know that in LFT we have bilirubin, SGOT and SGPT, total protein, albumin, globulin and MIG ratio. Total bilirubin 0.2 to 1.2 mg per deciliter. Direct bilirubin 0.2 to 0.5 mg per deciliter. Indirect bilirubin 0.2 to 0.8 mg per deciliter. Then total protein 6 to 8 gram per deciliter. Albumin 3.5 to 5 gram per deciliter. Globulin 2.6 to 3.5 gram per deciliter and albumin globulin ratio is 1.2 is to 1 to 2 is to 1 and ALP is 40 to 125 IU per liter. Then we are going through renal function test or kidney function test. Here we have NPN plus electrolytes. Known protein nitrogenous substances plus electrolytes are detected in renal function test. Urea. Urea normal value is 15 to 40 milligram per deciliter. Creatine. Not creatine. It is creatinine. Creatinine is 0.6 to 1.2 milligram per deciliter. Then uric acid is 3.4 to 7 milligram per deciliter. Then burnt or blood urea nitrogen. It is 5 to 20 milligram per deciliter. Then comes electrolytes. Sodium 136 to 145 millimoles per liter. Potassium 3.5 to 5 millimoles per liter. Chloride 96 to 106 millimole per liter bicarbonate 22 to 26 millimole per liter then comes lipid profile in lipid profile we have cholesterol triglycerides hdl ldl and vldl Total cholesterol 150 to 250 milligram per deciliter, triglycerides 80 to 150 milligram per deciliter, HDL or high density lipoprotein 40 to 60 milligram per deciliter, LDL, LDL or low density lipoprotein 60 to 150 milligram per deciliter, then very low density lipoprotein that is VLDL it is 20 to 40 milligram per deciliter. Then we are discussing about blood glucose estimation. Here we have fasting blood sugar, postprandial blood sugar, RBS and HbA1c. First comes fasting blood sugar. It is 70 to 110 milligram per deciliter. Then postprandial blood sugar or PPBS 120 to 140 milligram per deciliter. Then random blood sugar or RBS is 80 to 120 milligram per deciliter. HbA1c or glycated hemoglobin is 4 to 6.5 percentage. These are the common tests in biochemistry. Then we have to discuss about the blood test normal values in hematology. WBC count is 5000 to 10,000 millions per cubic millimeter. Then RBC count it is 4.5 to 5.5 millions per cubic millimeter. Hemoglobin 12 to 18 gram per deciliter. 
12 to 16 in females and 14 to 18 in males. Then PCV. PCV is 37 to 50 percentage. Then platelet count. Platelet count should be 1.5 to 4.5 lakhs per cubic millimeter. Then MCH or mean corpuscular hemoglobin 27 to 32 picograms. MCHC or mean corpuscular hemoglobin concentration 32 to 36 percentage. MCV or mean cell volume 80 to 90 femtoliters. Next ESR. ESR or erythrocyte sedimentation rate. In males it should be less than 10 millimeters per hour. In females less than 20 millimeters per hour and total eosinophil count should be 50 to 450 cubic millimeters. Next is about coagulation studies. Here we have BTCT, PT, APTT etc. Normal bleeding time should be 2 to 6 minutes and clotting time 5 to 10 minutes. Prothrombin time 10 to 12 seconds, activated plasma thromboplastin time 35 to 40 seconds. INR or international normalized ratio is also important in coagulation studies and INR is less than 1. Then blood pH, normal blood pH is 7.35 to 7.45. Next is about thyroid function test. Thyroid function tests include T3, T4 and TSH. Here TSH is 0.5 to 5 micro units per ml and T3. T3 is triidothyronine. It is 120 to 190 nanograms. Then T4 or thyroxine is 5 to 12 micrograms per dl. TSH 0.5 to 5 micro units per ml, T3 120 to 190 nanograms, T4 5 to 12 micrograms per deciliter. Calcium and phosphorus are also important and normal value of calcium is 9 to 11 milligram per deciliter. Phosphorus 3 to 4.5 milligram per deciliter. Today we are winding up. Please note that normal values will be different with different methods and location. We will discuss every function test in detail in the upcoming videos so don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you.